Hey, Coach, appreciate you taking the time today. Yeah, no problem. We'll get started here with Ruben Frank and then Jeff McLean. Hey, Shane, how's it going? What's up, Ruben? Doing well, thanks. Hey, uh, obviously, Miles is out for at least this week, possibly more. Jordan's dealing with the stinger. Uh, how difficult is it to, to move forward without at least Miles? How much will you miss him? And, and where, what's your confidence level in Boston if he's got to carry the load? Yeah, no, obviously, Miles will be missed, but uh, we feel good about those guys. You know, Miles was out early in the season, uh, and those guys stepped up and uh, ran the ball well, and uh, they did a heck of a job for us. So we feel good about those guys. Uh, they've been doing a good job up all year, and we hope to continue that trend uh, on Sunday versus Washington. But if I could follow up specifically on Boston, uh, you know, we've seen him in like a, a you know, secondary role uh, do well. If he's got to be the number one guy, get 15 touches, 17 touches. What's your what's your confidence level in him? Uh, very confident in him. Like I said earlier in the season, he's played a lot of football. And every time he's got to step in and play, I mean, he does a heck of a job. He hits the holes well. He sees the holes well. And um, we're very confident in his abilities. Go ahead, Jeff, and then Rob. Shane, it seems like in the uh, two games versus the Giants, they were able to kind of uh, do some stuff coverage-wise to to con to counter you, or I, I don't know what, what. So what? What you know? Obviously, without giving away too much, I'm sure. But yeah, you know, what yeah. were some of the things that they've been able to kind of uh, uh, attack you with that kept you guys uh, limited there in the first half? Yeah, well, credit to them. I mean, they do a really good job on defense schematically. Uh, they switch up their fronts. They're multiple with their coverages. Uh, so, you know, as we go into those game plans, like I say every week, we've got to expect the unexpected. Um, but hats off to them. They did a good job in those first uh, the first half against us. Uh, we got to be better there. Uh, but we got to roll in there in the second half. Go ahead, Rob, and then Mike. Shane, the last couple of weeks, we've seen uh, some trick plays. Obviously, Lane Johnson last week, we saw Darius going on off the Devontae play, uh, a little bit of a tight end, at least in a three-point stance. Um, is that a measure of you and Nick feeling more comfortable within being able to go to those plays, or is that a measure of playing against NFC East opponents, guys that might know you a little better? So you, yeah, you no, go to those I yeah, no, I think th those are talked about throughout the week, uh, those situations to put those guys in the game. Uh, obviously, there's certain looks on tape that we see uh, that can get us those. And obviously, uh, there's a look on tape when you got down in there tight for Lane to get that touchdown. Uh, it was an awesome job by everyone, the execution. It was so great to see Lane get that touchdown. Uh, he's been working his tail off all year, uh, and he deserved that touchdown. So we're super excited for him. Go ahead, Mike, and then Zach. Hey, Shane. Um uh, Nick had said earlier in the week that you guys are going to separate quarterbacks and do a lot of virtual stuff in your experience over the last two years, what's been the most difficult aspect of having virtual meetings? What do you think is lost potentially in those meetings? Well, I just think the human element being right next to each other uh, and having those conversations face to face. Uh, I think that goes a long way, but again, you got to adapt. You got to adapt to these new circumstances and we got to be smart and we got to be safe to keep these guys going uh, and we'll make it work, no doubt about it. Uh, so we, we got a process that we're going through right now and where to set guys up, uh, and we'll go from there. And obviously, when we get onto the practice field, uh, we have those conversations ongoing uh, on the practice field so we get that human element when we get out there. Go ahead, Zach, and then Bo. Hey, Shane. I don't know if, if you saw the, the uh, video or the transcript from Nick's press conference last Wednesday, but he gave us insight into the play calling. Uh, responsibilities yeah. and, mm -hmm. and how you guys do that. From your perspective, uh, how has that been working and and what's effective about it if, 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 if you do find it effective? Yeah, I think Nick does a heck of a job, you know, putting the game plan together. Like we, we talk about it throughout the week, the first, second down, the third down, the red zone, the four minute, the backed up on uh, how we want the game to be called. And like Nick said, we get into the games and uh, throughout series, we have a couple plays, four or five plays that we go through that we want to call. And then I'll roll with those calls right there. It could be in that order, like he said. It could be switched up in that order. And then uh, if he wants to override it, like he said, uh, he'll override the call. So it, it's been going good, and uh, we're looking forward to beating Washington this week. Go ahead, Bo, and then Chris. Hey, Shane, when, when you're putting together the, you know, the opening script, um, how much of it is just like we want to score on this drive versus setting things up for the rest of the game, you know, showing the defense looks that you want to be able to you know, uh, maybe counter off of as the game goes on? 
Yeah, no, that's a great question. I, I don't want to get into too much detail without giving things away to our opponent, but uh, we, we take into all that stuff consideration. Obviously, we do want to start fast every week. There are certain things that we want to set up. Uh, so really, to answer your question, uh, it's a little bit of both. Obviously, we want to start fast. We want to go score touchdowns. We want to go set uh, things up uh, and show some different things early uh, and go from there. Go ahead, Chris, and then Martin. Hey Shane, Boston has been limited, got limited touches earlier in the season as progress has gotten more and more. What was he like in the running back room during that time? And what's his like demeanor usually during those meetings? Yeah, you know what? He's the ultimate pro. Uh, you know, he's an ultimate team player. He was supportive early. Uh, and, you know, just with anything, right, you got you got a running back room and those guys get hit a lot and guys get banged up. And so when it's his time to step in uh, and do his thing, he shined. And uh, he's continued to do that. Uh, he's awesome in the meetings, awesome in the practice field. Uh, and he brings it every Sunday. Go ahead, Martin, and then Dave. Hi, Shane. Um, are, are you guys finding that, like, you know, the running game becomes more and more important as you get into, like, December and January and, you know, the playoffs possibly? Um, you look a couple weeks ago, I think the Patriots only, like, tried three passes and stuff. I yeah. mean, not only with you guys, I mean, are you finding, like, other teams are doing it? And why is it so beneficial, like, especially when the weather gets bad? Yeah, I think it, obviously when the weather's bad, depending on how bad the weather is, like that Buffalo game, you talk about that three passes. I mean, it was so windy. I mean, I, I understood why they did that, but I think it depends on how the weather is. You know, if, if you're able to be multiple and still run it and throw it, great. But if the weather's bad and you can't throw it as much as you want it, you got to be able to run it. Uh, so I think that plays into effect uh, when you go into every game uh, late in December. We'll take a couple more here. Go ahead, Dave, John, and Ed. Hey, Shane, we've really seen this offense evolve over the course of the year. I remember earlier in the season, we're asking you why you're not running it, and now it's really become the strength. What was that process like? Were there ever some high-level philosophical discussions about changing the direction of the offense? Yeah, I think we had those discussions uh, late after, you know, uh, Tampa Bay. We had that mini buy, and we sat down and talked as a staff on, you know, what we need to be better at. And uh, we, we sat down, and we started looking at a whole bunch of different things, and it started to evolve from there, and it, it started to take off. And uh, we just got to continue that uh, moving forward this week. I'll jump in. Uh, I don't know where Allie is, but I was next, Shane. How are you? Yeah, you got um, How are you doing? Uh, Nick talked a little bit about yesterday, the NFL has changed its hiring policies for head coaches. And he was talking uh, about his coordinators, Jonathan, you, you've been on certain lists. What kind of advice has he given you guys? If, if, if that call comes and somebody wants to interview you? Uh, I think right now, like we're focused, or we're all, fo or, or all our focus right now is on Washington. Uh, and if those opportunities present itself, great. But right now, uh, our focus right now is on Washington and, I told the offense uh, last week, you know, going into the game last week, uh, it ain't about what you want. It's about what you're willing to do to go get it. Um, and we got something to go get uh, as a football team right now. So our focus has got to be on the Washington football team. Hey, uh, Shane, uh, just to follow up on an earlier question uh, about these wrinkles in the offense, what, what is it about Slay that led you guys to want to try him, you know, on the field in that situation? You know what? That was a play we've ran uh, throughout the year. Uh, it's been a good play for us. So Slay in that situation, he was just a little eye candy for us. Uh, and he actually drew a ton of attention. If you go back and watch the play, I mean, the guy was man to man. He ran with him and pulled another guy on and it just opened up that huge lane uh, that we hit on Miles. So it was awesome to see.